Yeah, hi friends. Uh, I'm starting a new video lectures on computer programming and numerical methodologies laboratory programs. This is for the BTEC first years on the university guys. And uh, the program list contains nearly 15 programs. And we shall start uh, one after the other. We can see the first program states that uh, write a program to read the x, comma, y coordinates of three points and then calculate the area of the triangle. So we are required to find the area of the triangle and also it states there is a print the coordinates of the three points and the area of the triangle. So we need to print the coordinates and the area of the triangle. And finally he's, he says us uh, what will be the output of your program if the three given points are in the same straight line. Right. So fine. Uh, let us know what exactly how we have to implement the basic things. Uh, and uh, this is the basic formula uh, if you are given the coordinates of the a triangle ABC. And the coordinates are x1 comma y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 and this is our formula that is half of x1 into y2 minus y3 plus y2 x3 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 let me help you out uh, with the program that i have already written so this is the code that i have written for this program so the program output is going to be like this stating the program to determine area of triangle and it's going to ask us to enter the coordinates of x1 comma y1 uh, i'm taking it as 1 comma 2 and x something like 2 comma 1 and 0 comma 2 and the respective area formula is displayed and the area of the triangle is calculated and been displayed in the respective units so this is how we need the output to be displayed so for which let us start writing the code i'm taking a fresh uh, page i know to explain you by line by line and first and foremost what do we need how do we need to start so let us check the output to exp to make it uh, more clear for you so in this program we are required to print the first statement that is program to determine area of the triangle so it would be like this print f program to find the area of a triangle and i want the cursor to move to the next line so i want i'm entering slash in and of the statement should end with a semicolon and the next output states that enter a point one this is another print of statement needs to be entered so so print of let us make it to move to the next line enter point one x one comma y one so it's it needs to display this part done and end of the statement is with semicolon later after after this part is displayed we have the statement to take the input one comma two so the inputs need to be taken that is two inputs need to be taken so for which we have the statement known as uh, scanf so let us write the state, statement to take the input from the keyboard scanf as there are two variables i need two variables x1 and y1 we need to declare them at the beginning of the program because the declaration should be followed with the executable statement. So I need x1, comma, y1 as the two variables, end of the statement, and both of them should be of type int, integer type of values I'm considering. So as I have to take integer type, percentile d, percentile d should be the format specifiers. So put it this comma and into the address of x1 location and into the address of y1 i'm going to consider the inputs so this is how uh, the first uh, point is going to be taken in the same manner in the, in the, in the code you can see clearly uh, it has three statements like that that is enter point one point two and point three so a printf statement should be followed with taking a scan of taking inputs of two inputs so we shall repeat this process of code for these three things, I'm copying this code. Press enter, paste, enter point two. Just modify the statements. And x2 and y2 needs to be declared before we use in any kind of executable statement. So x2 comma y2 at the first part. The same thing needs to be repeated. So enter point three, x3 comma y3. So let us declare even those variables separated with comma. In the output. So far, we have cleared this part of the output so now we have to take care of about to print this particular statement this is just a statement printer so this is the statement we have so i just typed everything and now we need to implement the same thing as a formula 
and I wanted to store the result into a variable name known as area and we need to declare area as area is going to store a real value so I'm entering it as float so these are the variables that we need and now let us write the formula 1 by 2 uh, writing the code known as x1 into y2 minus y3 plus so end of the statement so this entire statement is going to uh, copy this value into area actually writing 1 by 2 is going to give us uh, always the answer is going to be 0 because integer by integer division is going to give us integral part actually 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 so I am 0 0.5 the integer part is only 0 so 0 if this value becomes 0 so 0 into anything will become 0 itself so always it should be float type so I am converting one of the values as float that is real value 1.0 I will keep so it's uh, so the numerator is going to be a real value denominator is going to be an integer value a real by integer or else integer by real or real by real is going to give us the real value that is this entire value is going to be 0 0.5 itself now the value stored in area can be of two types if you see here if all the three variables are widely spread in the space if we implement in the formula we are going to get a respective answer but in case these uh, coordinates are present on the same straight line for example this is the point 10 comma 0 40 comma 0 and this is something like 25 comma 0 if we implement the formula if you see that the answer is going to be 0 so if all the three points lie on the same line the so area will be 0 so their points are set to be collinear if the area that we have calculated is going to be equal to 0, 0.0 or 0 uh, then we have to say that it's it's not uh, we cannot calculate the area of the triangle we have to print a statement stating that we shall print even the area what exactly it is the area is percentile f this is the place where i wanted to print so the points are collinear this is how the output is going to be printed and in the place of this percentile f i wanted to print the value of area so write the variable name known as area and end of the statement should be semicolon in case if the area is not equal to zero it's going to be certain value so in that case we can directly print the area of the triangle that is the area of the triangle is this much and at the end it should be percentile f square units so now let us see the f9 and you can see that enter the value of point 0.1 let us enter 1 comma 2 and uh, point 0.2 2 comma 1 and point 0.3 0 comma 2 so it states that the area has been calculated but if we can clearly see that here the area has been printed negative but actually the formula that we have seen the area of the triangle should is always positive that is we are required to implement the modulus so that is the modulus in the sense absolute value so the absolute value is nothing but from zero what is the uh, how far the respective digit is present so that is the absolute value of a negative number is going to be positive and a positive number is going to be positive itself so we have a predefined function known as FABS absolute value so the absolute value for this real value real number is going to be printed but if this function needs to work we have to write a hash include statement including the header file known as math.h so let us rerun the code once again and check the output for the same inputs 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 and 0 comma 2 and if here now we can see that the output is perfect and it's positive even let us check for the other part that is if they are collinear that is i'll enter it as 10 comma 10 comma 2 10 comma 8 and something like 10 comma 10 so you can see that now the output is printed as the area is 0 and the points are collinear Hope you have understood the program. Thank you.